Hello, welcome to my online training session. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a macro that will enter your signature into a Word document. To start, open up Word. Click the View tab on the top of the taskbar. From there, you will see a Macros button at the far right. Click the drop down button and then click View Macros. In the Macro Name section, type in Signature and then click Create. At this point, please pause the video and type in the code that you're about to see. The highlighted line of code will be the only part that's different for you. You get this code by right clicking the address bar where your picture is located and selecting Copy as Text. From there, replace the highlighted text with what you just copied. For this code to work, you need to make sure that your signature JPEG is located in your downloads file. After you're finished with your code, click the Save button. After that, click File, and then Close and Return to Microsoft Word. Click the Customize Quick Access toolbar that is located at the top of the page. After Click More Commands. Make sure the Quick Access Toolbar is selected. Click the drop down menu from the Choose Commands From option. From there, click the Macros button, which is the fourth option down. As you can see, the macro we created earlier is right here waiting for us. Click it, and then click Add, and that will bring it over to this side. After that, click the OK button. After clicking OK, it will redirect you back to your blank Word document. You will see that Word added a new icon that is up at the top of the page here. To execute the macro that we created earlier, all you have to do is click on the new icon that was added. And just like that, the signature appears. If you would like to change the icon to help you remember what it is for, just follow this simple process. First, click the Customize Quick Access toolbar at the top of the page. Then, click More Commands. Highlight the macro that we created earlier, and then click Modify. As you can see, there are tons of options to choose from. I'll just choose this one. Click OK, and then click OK again. As you can see, the icon has changed to this scroll. At this point, as a way to help you remember what you just learned, I want to ask you to go back and try this process on your own. Macros are a really great tool, and this one especially is a simple and convenient tool that will enhance any document you use it for. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope I was able to help you learn something new about macros.